Well hello everybody, it is Andrea. Welcome back to Colour and Chat. Working in pinup models. I do apologise, it's been a while. Um, it's just been one of those weeks. We were working on... Let's go to the lady. Here she is. And we are going to finish her, well, do a bit more on her. We probably won't finish it today because I'm going to do some pencil work. Um, as well so we'll probably finish it off with another one let's zoom in we're going to start with her lovely short sleeved sweater and I'm actually going to use a pastel one of the pastel colors from the um, the Ohuhu pastels I think I'm going to like uh, robin egg blue looks quite nice if I can find it there it is right in front of me so there we go let's get that out just because it's just uh, it's not so so bright how are we all today? How are you? Are you doing okay? I'm okay. I've got a bit of sinusitis at the moment, so it's not going to be a very long video. Like I said, there'll be one third one when we do some pencil work on it, that's all. Uh, mostly probably on the bricks and some shading on the skirt and the top and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, I'm fine. That uh, Jennifer's fine, Paul's fine, everybody's fine. Jennifer's asleep at the moment, so it's about nine o'clock. So this is actually quite early for me to get this done. So I thought I'd come in. Now these are brushes rather than the nibs, and quite, I quite like these. I love these pastel colours. They are absolutely stunning colours. Um, and I do like the Ahuhu markers overall, to be honest. To be fair, I really do, so. Well, what have I been up to? Not a lot, really. I mean, it's just mostly been work and play and with Jennifer. And, yeah, on the weekend we went out to Newport. If, you've, if I ever get the weekly vlog uploaded. Hopefully it'll be up by the time this one goes up. I'm trying to upload it at the moment and it just doesn't want to do it. Um, so there's a bit of footage there. I still haven't found my camera. I'm vlogging on my phone at the moment, which is fine. It just takes a bit of getting used to because I'm not used to it. And then... Uh... Yeah, you know. You know what it's like. There we go. That's that one. And I think one twenty there it is for her lippies. Your bob's the same colour. And then we want a nice little pinky colour for her. 260. 250. Where is it? Um, for her, um, gosh, what am I looking for? Her nails. And I can't see the colour. I will do it. That one now. Might have fallen out. I found one on the floor. So it might have come out. So we're just going to do that, do that, do that, and do that. Little nails. Okay, that'll do for those. Put those away for now. And we're going to do her hair, her eyes, eyebrows, and then her bag. Oh, Very hard to get these back in the bag that they go in, to be honest. So. 
might be one loose on the floor. I'll have to look for it later. I can't get them in properly. I do like to keep them lying down so they don't uh, fall out. this book I mean to be fair I've bought a few books uh, I wasn't going to this month because of um, trying to save a bit of money but I haven't bought that many so I'm quite happy with what I've got and I will I'm not sure whether I'll be doing a haul this month because it's not going to be that much so I might do it every other month instead it, it depends it depends Um, it, it really does just depend on what I uh, forget anymore. Um, I'm trying not to. I've got a lot of things to sort out, like Jennifer's childcare fees or dentist form, which I've deleted, so I'm going to have to try and retrieve that out of my um, deleted files. I know I can, I've just got to find it. I'll check when the appointment is. I know what date it is, I don't know what day at that time. So, yeah, it's a bit, of a, a bit of a pain. So, yeah, I really like, I do like this, um, pictures in this book. I think they're very, very nice. So, I do think they're lovely. I think, um, we got uh, some very nice pin-ups in here. I'm going to enjoy colouring in these I think. Hope anyway, so. I just like colouring. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm, I'm taking some photographs on that, that uh, Pentax SFX camera I've got. I've got a roll of film and I'm probably about halfway through, maybe a bit more. I'm not sure whether it's a 24 or 40, 36 exposure. I'll check because I've got some more rolls of that uh, film as well. And it should tell me. Uh, and then I found an old camera that I'm in my sale box. It's got a roll of film partially used in it. I think they've only shot like one or two, so there's not a huge amount in there. But it's a, a, a size that's very difficult to get a hold of now. It's quite a unusual size so this is a 127 so whereas they used to be very very common 127 it, it was a, a size it's uh, slightly uh, different from 120 in the sense I think it's slightly thinner I know that the the spool is smaller but uh, it's all about trying to um, you know, I'm going to finish that off. You can get film for it, Nick and Trick do it, or Wonderland do it. Pretty sure Limography do it as well. So there are some places you can get it. Or you can just re-spool it yourself because it's quite expensive. But, uh, that's nice. I've got two cameras that do use that, um, same film the same so I want to keep one um, and the other one the best better condition one I put on sale so I just need to that's her done and oh, what colour should I do a door it's hard to tell whether it's panelled all the way through or whether it's winter I think it's panelled I can't see that there's actually unless that's glass all in there that could be um, mm, what colour? I'm just having a think of the colour. Have I got my... No. Um, I think 
could do it black and then we could do The outside black and then we'll go around um, and the inside in oh I don't want that I don't like those I just covered myself in blacking I'm not big on the um chisel tip where is it where black front door could be like number 10 So this is only going to be about a half an hour long video, this one, I think. I, 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 my head's hurting and the smell of these markers is going to make it even worse. So I think I'll just... Uh, do this and... As much of this as I can and then we'll finish it off in the next one. But uh, yeah, I mean, things are opening up now. Um, although all the shops and pubs were open and restaurants were open, you could, as long as you could uh, eat outside, drink outside, it's now open inside. So you can actually go inside and have a drink if it's raining or have a meal. We went up uh, the Prince today, the Prince of Wales, which is my local, which I love, mm. and had a drink. We sat outside because although it was quite blustery and there was a bit of rain, we were sitting under the awning and we were dry so it didn't matter but had it been really bad we would have sat inside there's plenty of space inside safe plenty outside and you know you're supporting your local pub as i said i'm not in the pub again really i am and it you know it's nice to have a drink and it beats it in watching tv which is what jennifer wants to do and she gets to play and have fun with granddad because he came with us today so that's a, I'm going to say that's the door knob, so that would be like that, and that would be on a, a panel. It's a very low door knob, unless I don't know, it just seems very low. Sometimes these backgrounds are really, really weird to try and figure out. So if you look, it doesn't even look like it's straight, but that might be just the way I'm holding the, the, the page. I'm just going to have to turn it like this so I can move it up. So you can see what I'm doing when it focuses finally. So we're down here. Love it. So how have you all been? Are you all all right? Is everything safe where you are? Are you all back to normal or is it still very um, hit and miss where you are? are you know, well, obviously we're still social distancing at the moment. We're still wearing masks and all that good stuff, but we're being careful now my mum's got her second vaccine on Thursday and I've got mine on Tuesday next week so a week tomorrow at the same time which it was before it was 10 to 4 so I'm I'm looking forward to getting it done but I'm also wary because I know somebody who had their second one and we're just as and they were ill again and I'm dreading it because I felt so rough last time I'm hoping that uh this time I won't feel as bad. So I'll just make sure I've got some like aspirin and paracetamol or whatever to uh, hopefully combat any headache I may get. But uh, yeah, what are you colouring? Are you colouring? Are you reading? Um, what are you colouring this month? So what are your plans? I've got so many whips I'm trying to work through them. This doesn't count obviously because it's a colouring chat and I've got one I've started which doesn't count because it's one I've started this month but um, I do try and do a bit of work on at least one of my whips every day so I've got some like th four whips downstairs which is one is one of the book, one is in the one of the Alan Roberts Beauty of Horror books I think it's in book one and then I've got two in Worlds of Wonder one's new they, one's newly finished and then I've got one in Jade Summer Anime, which I've started, and that's downstairs. 
I've also got a pattern book downstairs, but that's not got anything in it. I took it down, looked at the picture, and I don't want to do that right now. So that's cool. And then up here, I'm currently trying to finish off one from a Hannah Carlson book um, from Seasons that I started that I really like. I do love that book, so, and I really like the way the pictures come out. So I might do some of that when I finish this, or I might do a bit of the one another one I've got that I started this month which doesn't really count which is the um, from the Colour in Heaven fairies uh, in nature special which I've started most of it's done it's just doing a little bit in the background so I need to have a look at it and decide what I want to do with the background I'm getting very tired as well so it is and I've got eBay stuff to do um, I have got two to post, but I'm going to do them tomorrow and take them down Wednesday, that's fine. Um, the only reason I haven't done them today is I'm just... It's because I've got this headache and I wanted to get a video out done for you. So, yeah. We'll be trying to do eBay tom photographs tomorrow night. So that... Um, I've got more stuff to list, I'll get some stuff listed tonight and then I'll list stuff again tomorrow night. And then I will um, get some more photographs done as well. Even if I only do six or seven, I've got some cameras to do. So I've probably got more than that. I like quite like doing cameras, but I want to do some, I want to do at least <coughs> six cameras and maybe six items of clothing. I don't know where my actual eBay book has gone, but I will find it at some point. It's probably down the side of the bed. There's so much stuff down there. It's probably where the vlogging camera is actually. I just haven't got down there. I might have a look in a bit. So, let me just finish this bit off. I'm still deciding what colour to do the rest of the door. I know I'll do grey around the outside, the edging. I don't know. Doors can be any colour though, can't they? Makes you think how many pages we colour, how many books we've got and stuff like that. It's really bizarre the way we collect books. I see books all the time in videos that I haven't got and I think I really want that book and I'm like I can't afford it I've got whoops I'm running out of space to put them I've never completed a book I would love to complete a book but I've never done it and, and I you know and you're thinking why am I buying all these books I'm not getting anywhere I'm not finishing them I want to finish one but I don't think if I finish it I won't have it to colour in again so it's like it swings and roundabouts but do you know what that's why we love the hobby, isn't it? We love colouring. I think I'll use a grey on the edging. Let's see how that looks. So yeah, it's, it is a bit dodgy. It's because of the way the camera is. So when I... There we go. Oh, there's so much... I've probably got thousands and thousands of pictures to colour and I'm not just talking about in books as the PDFs as well. I, I do like colouring so much. I just I would quite happily sit and colour all day every day but I don't think Paul and Jennifer would like it. I don't think my hands would like it or work for that matter but there you go. I would quite happily do that because I find it relaxing and I enjoy it very much so yeah. I 
mean it's Jennifer, she loves the colouring as well, she loves colouring. I mean she likes, I mean she's got a water pistol that she got on the weekend, she loves playing with that with Daddy. But with Mummy she wants to colour and do crafty stuff which is nice. And I'm happy to do all that sort of stuff with her if she wants to do it. And sometimes she'll just sit there and she says I want to choose the colours and that's what we're doing in World of Wonder, she's been choosing uh, the colours of the picture so it's a very very different type of picture because it's not colours, you know, the sky is orange, I've got a purple cloud. I'm probably just going to continue it without her help if necessary so that uh, I can get it finished hopefully at the end of the month but I'm not going to guarantee it because I know what to it's like I know what happens sometimes we just run out of time don't we and that's why we end up with thousands of whips oh, I missed a bit of a bag there I'm just gonna put that in and that color will be fine because I ain't gonna worry about that too much I can cover it over in a minute but... yeah so I don't know I, I like to color so and sometimes I might only colour for five or ten minutes, especially in the evening if I'm tired. Another time I'll colour a whole picture in one session. Um, I haven't coloured much this month at all. I, but then I haven't done as many patterns. I've been working on pictures and I've been doing a lot with the pencils, which obviously I think I think pets <coughs> gonna start coughing in a minute. They take a lot longer. <clears throat> the pens because of the layering and the blending. So I'm very tired as well. I am I'm very, very tired, so I'm not gonna be doing much longer. Like I said, I'm I'm aiming for around thirty ish minutes in this one. Because I want to try and read a bit. Um, so what am I reading? I am currently reading uh, a book called uh, Dead Men's Footsteps by Peter James. Uh, I think it's like one of the earlier, it is one of the earlier books um, uh, featuring Detective Superintendent uh, Roy Grace. I do love anything by Peter James. I know I'm getting two of his books for my birthday from Paul because I think I said this before, he gives them to me for my birthday and I didn't get them last year because we didn't go away so I take them on holiday to read. So I will have two of those to read while I'm on holiday, yay! So I'm reading one of those. Um, I'm reading a ghost or horror story by Ron Ripley who wrote the Barclay Manor series. This is a series called Moving In and I'm on the last book which is called The Academy and it's very good. Um, not much of that left to go though so hopefully I'll be able to finish that very very soon. What number was that? That was five. I want a lighter one. see any lighter ones. Oh there's a three, that'll do it. There. Oh dear my eyes are killing me. I'm just going to do the panes. I'm going to do them as panes of glass and uh, I'm just going to put this on here, this colour. It's the same, it's just a nice grey. So oh, I am so tired. Now, I know I've still got the um, brick to do, and that's fine. Um, I'll find a brick colour for that, and then I'm going to use the Koei Mock, is it the Koei Nors tricolour? I've got a couple of those that are the brick ones, and I'm going to use those. I might not do all of the brick work on camera because that is going to take a long time. But obviously I'll shade her first and do that. That won't be a sec. Okay, 
Okay, sorry about that. Um, there, I was just looking for a colour for the bricks, for the back, uh, for the, the marker layer, and I've got a colour called Rose Beige. Because, of course, I'll be going over it with more red and grey and stuff, so it's just a, a layer. It's the right sort of colour I want as well. So what I'll do now is I'll just very quickly colour the bricks in and we'll call it a night and then we'll get the uh, pencils out. So we'll probably use the polys I think and we'll do the some pencil work over the top. Afterwards, so it won't be long now. Like I said, it's not a long video tonight. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just do the, the background in a minute and then we will do the pencil work next time. So it'll probably be a very short one because I get bored of going over the same thing over and over again. So, but. I will do it anyway, if you want me to. So if you want to see me do some pencils over the top, let me know. Otherwise I'll find something else and we can do something else instead. I don't I don't mind either way. So yeah, just let me know. Do you want me to uh, finish this off with some pencil work and show you that? I mean, it's not going to be brilliant because I'm not... brilliant at uh, pencil over markers and it's something I'm still practicing with but I can certainly do that for you like so I'm just going to colour this in it looks very brown but that's because they've got black backing on these pages it's actually a rose beige and it looks pinker so it's going to be a nice well I hope so for the bricks I just thought it'd look odd if I did just pencil bricks when everything else was marker so I thought I'd do with the bricks in marker as well and then we can go over it Again, I'm not going to worry about this, I'm just going to colour it in. So yeah, if you want me to see to do that, I will. If not, let me know and I'll uh, do the other. I know I said I'd do the uh, Sun and Moon Mandala one or whatever it is, but I haven't. I might come back to that one next time. I haven't decided yet. Yes, I, I, I think I'm a bit full of patterns. I'm trying to stay off of patterns a bit this month and do books instead and uh, pictures and not you know oh, I don't know what I'm saying do pictures instead of patterns do you know what I mean yeah. like I said there's been no um Ava Brown book this week so there might be this week now but there wasn't last week and I still haven't caught up. I want to do one of the pictures from Gnomin Around the World. I want to do the uh, Egypt one, so I think that's my next one. When I get five minutes to, to myself to colour in an evening. I might get a chance to do a bit tomorrow night after I finish doing my eBay. And you're probably saying, why don't you use chisel tip? It'll go quicker. And you're right, it would. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm not very clever with the chisel tips. I'm not keen on them. I mean, I know you can cover a, a big space quicker, as you can see, but I'm not very good at getting it even. Then I am going over it with pencil. So, and it's brickwork. It wouldn't necessarily be completely even, would it? Let's be honest. Well, that's better, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's a bit quicker. I just gotta be careful. I don't know. That was just me. So, so yes, I'm reading that and that ghost book, it's a very good box set called Moving In and the last book's called The Academy. I'm trying to finish that one off as well. I've also started the, the Marilyn Monroe Book of the Month, which is 40 Days with Marilyn, but I'm only a few pages in. Um, it won't take me long. It's only a small book, but it's one of those books where you think, oh, okay, it's not the best, but it's all right. Let's be honest, if Marilyn had slept with every man who ever claimed to have slept with her, she'd never have had time to make any movies, let alone marry Arthur Miller and Joe DiMaggio, travel to Korea to perform for the troops, make all those films and television appearances, uh, modelling shoots. You know, she never would have had the chance. She never would have had time. 
So there you go. But, uh, you take it with a pinch of salt. You have to. There's been so many of them. There is a new book out, but uh, again, it's one that focuses on her film performances rather than her personal life, like, which I quite like. Um, so I've got that on order. Don't know when that's coming. It coming. I think it's coming next week actually, because it's coming from Book Depository. So that's cool. I don't mind. Every now and again, I get a book from Book Depository, as does Paul. There's a few books out I want. Some of them are fictional, some of them are not on Marilyn. And of course we got the new Michelle Morgan coming out next year. She's currently work working on the third draft of When Marilyn Met the Queen. Marilyn's Life and Work in England, 1956. So that is the book of the year next year. Um, I'm going to say that. There's nothing that is going to beat that book in my opinion next year. Unless Pat you could perhaps publish his her story and I don't see that ever happening. Um, so or we get a book of huge book of photographs, like the complete Milton Green, or what I would like is a, a book of just Earl Moran photos of Marilyn. I know they did one on Earl Moran pinups, but I'd like one just on his work with Marilyn. Um, the John Fleuria book hasn't come out, don't know what's happened to that. Still waiting on Gary Vitico Rubles' third instalment in Curse and Perficia, which is Life After Death, so it's everything that's happened since she died. Um, in the, the conspiracy theories, the stories that have come out and all that stuff. Um, so there's that. I'm looking forward to that as well. But who knows when that's going to come out. I know he is working on it, but these books take a long time to research. Now, Michelle had already done the groundwork for When Marilyn Met the Queen because she, she's been talking about this book since the 90s. I can remember her wanting to write it back then before she was a published author. So she'd done a lot of the research then. So I'm really looking forward to learning some new stuff and even Michelle said she's learned a lot of new stuff. And this is why a biographer like Morgan is so important for someone like Marilyn. She doesn't just rehash the same old stories. Yes, she tells them because they're important in context to Marilyn's life. So she has to tell them, but it's not just a rehash. There is always something new in her books, whether it's the Marilyn ones and she's written several, or you've got her Thelma Todd one and her Carol Lombard books. Look, they are fantastic books on those two subjects. Very, very well received and recommended. And I do recommend anything with her, that she has written. Um, she does have a blog. Um, she has a Facebook page and so on. She has a YouTube channel which is called MM Writer Girl. She doesn't often put stuff on there. Uh, she does watch this channel, um, mostly the weekly vlog. And the book reviews but uh, that's cool um, but yeah it is going to be the book of the year next year it's going to take a lot of beating I'll say that for a fact I don't know anything else yet that's been announced for next year that is going to be as good um, I can't wait I cannot wait for it like I said, we had The Girl, she's done Marilyn and The Girl. Um, then there's before Marilyn, The Blue Book Agency Files, um, which she did with the woman that owns those those that, that archive, which is wonderful. Astrid, she's lovely too. And uh, yeah, so the Michelle Morgan book is the book I am most looking forward to for 2022. And it's, I mean, we're only in May, it's a long way off. She's got her next fiction book coming out, I think, in September or October. And I'm looking forward to getting that as well. So you'll be seeing that on this channel. As soon as I know what it's called, I will be announcing it. Um, I know she's got lots of projects lined up as well. So uh, that's going to be it for today uh, because 
all the markers done. So if you want to see me do the pencil work on this picture, I will do that in the next video. If not, I'll do it off camera and you'll see it at the end of the month. Let me know in the comments below what you want and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.